Today we're going to talk about the birds and the bees. Actually, just the bees. And we're making them for B. Alright, keep watching. Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery. And today we are going to be talking about FSL. And these are lace charms that I got from Designs and Machine Embroidery. And it's a gorgeous collection. And they stitch out and they're gorgeous. Like they're absolutely gorgeous. I am so happy with them. These are the nicest bees for B that I have found in a long time. So I just stitched this out and of course the smallest hoop that you have. Uh, I did a couple of them actually. I did a couple more. I did four of them in the four by four hoop which is fine. And I use this kind of water soluble stabilizer which everything worked perfectly but I had in my stash Okay, I'm going to stop the presses right here and explain the challenge. I was reading in different Facebook groups that someone wanted to do FSL on heat removable backing instead of having to soak everything. And I thought, that's a great idea. Why don't people do it? And then I thought, let's experiment. So this is the experiment. Okay, back to me talking. Okay heat and gone heat removable topping stabilizer and i thought this might be really cool to do an experiment with because i've already stitched out the bees and i know they're perfect and it works so let's try it on this heat and gone let's see how it works though let's try um stainless steel iron is recommended there's a whole bunch of recommendations on it um, and it doesn't say specifically it's for S FSL, but we're going to do it anyway. So welcome to the embroidery experiments. So, okay, let's check it out. I've never actually seen this, but I love Floriani stuff. It's hard to get in Canada, but I love it. So this is the covering plastic isn't it oh no this is it Ooh, this is kind of weird let me just cut it off i'm not gonna waste that but okay so this is it it's plasticky it's nice and thick you can hear it so let's try it I'm wondering, I'm, I'm kind of excited, I'm wondering how well this is going to turn out. You can hardly see it. It seems a lot thicker than the water-soluble plasticky type, a lot thicker. Let's see how easy that it's going to rip. No, it doesn't, it stretches. Oh, I like, oh, I like experimentation. Let it begin. So I'm just going to use my small hoop and we're going to stitch out one and then we're going to iron it and see what happens. All right, let's take it to the machine. Everyone can say hi to my brother, Dream Machine. Uh, inside here I have a black bobbin so the backs of these guys look good. And I'm going to not hit the camera again. I'm going to change the thread bright bright yellow thread. I love it. I love it. Especially perfect for a bee. So this design set of lace charms are fantastic and I'm going to be working with, with them for a little while because there's so many things you can do with it and I really like it. So let's get McDreamy, my brother dream machine, all threaded. You guys have a great view. Let me know if, in the comments if you guys think it'll work. I'm going to speed it up a little bit so we can watch it go. I'll slow down if we need to. So far, so good. I think this looks great. Again, I love these designs. They are absolutely amazing. Okay, now I have switched to the black thread and I'm going to speed it up. 
So far, the experiment is going uh, as planned and everything looks great. That is the first part. Now we're going to do the wings. And again, it doesn't look to be pulling on it too much. I think it looks great. And I'm hoping this will really work well. But no, look, I'm completely wrong. Wrong. Okay, then. I guess that's it. That didn't work, did it? Okay, well, that was an epic fail. I'm going to pop this out. Now, in their defense, it doesn't say on the package that it's for FSL. I was just going to try it and see. And it just simply cut through it. Yeah, too many needle penetrations. Can you guys see that? One of the wings had folded back. Uh, it comes out really easily. So I'm thinking this stuff, we should use it for what it, its original intent, which is not FSL. FSL is way too stitch intense for that stuff. But it was worth a try. I thought it would be cool. I had another brand of it before, and it, it was lightly woven and kind of stiff and a little bit weird it wasn't floriani it was another brand and it basically just fell apart in my hands so i was like mm, that's not gonna work so uh that is a failed embroidery experiment but like i said it was worth a try i've had this maybe that's the other thing i've had this for a long time so maybe it's old but let's go back to what we know and love Let's hoop our regular water soluble stabilizer. And this stuff is quite thick and quite enjoyable. I've never had any problems. I never have to hoop more than one. And it's lovely and it's a, you know, a fabric kind. I think I get this one from, might be gun old or it might be on Amazon, who knows. But it's awesome. Uh, I'll find out for you guys. Um, so let's get Stitch and RB so I can show you guys these gorgeous, gorgeous uh, charms, lace charms. Back to the dream machine. I need a little intro music for that. Back to the dream machine. I'll do some. All right, so let's do that again. So I'm just gonna back it up. While it's stitching, I'm gonna read to you what it says. Heat and Gone is a unique topper stabilizer that is removed with the touch of an iron or heat press. Use on high pile fabrics such as towels and velvet to keep your stitching elevated and smooth. It's also ideal for fabrics that cannot withstand moisture such as a delicate raw silk and satins. Use only on fabrics that can withstand a temperature of 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So if there's a lot of people that ask that actually. What stabilizer can I use? Well, now you know, it's this one. And a lot of different companies make it. And that's what you should use. That's what it's made for. It is not made for FSL. Uh, the, I guess the moral of the story is read it. And if it's not designed for what you're doing, yeah, I'll probably shouldn't use it. So I was watching carefully, but you wouldn't want it to stitch out any further than I did because I would be concerned about breaking needles and messing up your timing and everything. So, all right, let's go back to these cute charms. Again, I'm going to speed up the video. These guys are a really quick stitch. They don't take too long at all. And it, they're really cute and they're really well done. Uh, Beatrice is going to have so much fun with her little bees everywhere. I'm going to make earrings. I'm going to make shoelace things. I'm going to make zipper pulls. She is going to be so happy to have some lace bees. Another thing, not so much on this bee, but try experimenting with different types of thread to make these lace charms come alive. I tried one where I did some variegated thread and it was absolutely stunning. I was so happy with it. And it was like a green, blue, yellow kind of baby colors. And it really turned out well. So because they're small and they stitch right through, this is a, a great time to experiment on thread. So here we go. That stitched out gorgeous. And with the right 
stabilizer uh, that really works well. Another idea I had is that you could put a little bit of maybe shimmery organza right for the bees wings and trim it out afterwards and I think that would look really cute. So check out this design pack, these charms from Designs in Machine Embroidery and they're called Lace Charms. If you have the Lace Maker software, of course everyone must know by now that it's my absolute favorite software, right? Making lace, you can use these in there. They give you the correct format for them and you can use them and I'm thinking that that's cool. There's 34 designs in the pack and you can get it with this part or without and I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, keep the channel growing. We're almost at 20,000 and I'm so excited and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!